So let's say I want to sketch each of these four quadratics and none of them factorize. And so what I need to do is I need to use the quadratic formula to determine where they cross the x-axis. Okay, so let's have a look at this first one. Y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 2. So we're going to go in with the quadratic formula. x is equal to minus b, so 2, plus or minus b squared, so 4, take away 4, times 1, times minus 2, square rooted, all over 2a, so 2. So we have 2 plus or minus 4. Minus 4 times 1 times minus 2 is 8, so 4 plus 8 is 12, square rooted, all over 2. Now, root 12 can be simplified, so root 12 is uh, 2 root 3, so 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 over 2, which is 1 plus or minus root 3, if you divide through by the 2. So what that's telling me is that this parabola crosses the x-axis at 1 plus root 3 and 1 minus root 3. Now it's useful to know um, it's useful to know exactly where uh, 1 minus root 3 and 1 plus root 3 are. Okay? Is 1 larger than root 3 or less than root 3? Now, 1, of course, is less than root 3. Um, so your 1 is there, for example, so that 1 minus root 3 will be further behind the y-axis, and 1 plus root 3 will be further along, of course. Now, we also know we can find out where it crosses the y-axis. That's at minus 2. The vertex will be at that 1 that midpoint, because of course the curve must be symmetric. So the curve must do something like that. That wasn't particularly good, but it, remember it is a sketch. Now that curve can't go up like that, so something like that. So that is your vertex, that one. It's crossing the y-axis at minus two. This is 1 minus root 3, and that's 1 plus root 3. Okay? Now you could always work out where the vertex is by now substituting 1 into this uh, quadratic. So 1 squared, 1, take away 2. So 1 take away 2 is minus 1. Take away 2 is minus 3. So that point is 1 minus 3. Okay? And that is a sketch of this parabola. OK, let's have a look at number 2. y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 7. So x is equal to minus b, so 4, plus or minus b squared, 16, take away 4 times 1 times minus 7, square rooted, all over 2a, so 2. So 4 plus or minus. 4 7s are um, 28. So 28 plus the 16 is 34, 44, so square root 44 all over 2. Now 44 can be simplified, root 44 can be simplified to 2 root 11, so 4 plus or minus 2 root 11 over 2, and that of course can be simplified to 2 plus or minus root 11. So um, root 11 is larger than 2, so we do know that the vertex is at 2. So that's your mirror line, if you like. So 2 plus root 11 and 2 minus root 11. 2 minus root 11 must take it beyond uh, the um, y-axis. And 2 plus root 11, so it must be symmetric. And the curve must go through minus 7 on the y-axis. So that wasn't particularly good. Let's have another go. Vertex. Not particularly good there. Have a go another go. 
That's what's good about having a whiteboard. You can erase the mistakes. So that's my 2 plus root 11. This is my 2 minus root 11. This is my uh, minus 7. And of course, I can work out the coordinates of that vertex because it's at 2. So 4, take away 8, so minus 4, take away 7, so minus 11. So 2 minus 11 must be the coordinates of the vertex. OK, so that's that parabola. OK, let's have a look at number 3. Y is equal to 2x squared minus 12x plus 14. So x is equal to uh, minus b, so 12, plus or minus b squared, 144, take away 4 times 2 times 14, square rooted, all over 2a, so uh, 4. OK, so... That's equal to 12 plus or minus. Now, 4 times 2 times 14. Well, 4 lots of 14 is 56. Twice that is 112. So 144 take away 112 uh, will get me down to 32. So this is the square root of 32 over 4. Now, root 32, you can divide through by uh, 4. So you can take the square root of 4 out, um, leaving me with, well, you can actually take out 16, can't you? So 12 plus or minus 4 root 2. So that's 3 plus or minus root 2. So now, Root 2, the square root of 2, is certainly less than 3. So that means now that we've got this 3. OK. That's our mirror line. Now, 3 minus root 2 must be somewhere over here. And that's making sense because the it's crossing the y-axis at 14. So... The curve must come down, have the vertex there, and then go back up so that that's 14. That point is 3 minus root 2. That's 3 plus root 2. And you can work out the coordinates of the vertex. That's where x is 3. So uh, two lots of 9, so 18, take away 36. So 18 take away 36 is minus 18, uh, plus 14 is minus 4, I think. I'm just going to check that. There are limits to uh, how much I trust my mental arithmetic. Oh, minus 4. OK. So that was all right. So yeah, that's what the parabola would look like in this case. So finally, we've got this y is equal to 20 plus 20x minus 10x squared. So x is equal to minus b, so minus 20, plus or minus b squared, so 400, take away 4 times 20 times minus 10, square rooted, all over 2a, so 2 lots of minus 10, so minus 20. So minus 20, plus or minus. Well, we've got here 420s at 80 times by 10 is 800. So we've got 1,200 square rooted all over minus 20. Now, um, 1,200 is 400 times 3. So that's minus 20 plus or minus 20 root 3 over minus 20. So that's um, 1 plus or minus uh, root 3. Now, when you're dividing through by that minus 20, sometimes there can be a little bit of um, worry about that plus minus. You could obviously write it as minus plus, 
but when you're dividing through, because the plus will become negative, the negative will become positive, but it doesn't matter, okay? It won't make any difference to us. But we do know that it crosses through the x-axis at 1 plus or minus root 3. So we know that there is a mirror line at 1. And 1 minus root 3 is going to be to the left of the y-axis because root 3 is greater than 1. Uh, we do know also that it's crossing through the uh, y-axis at 20 and that the curve must be this shape because the coefficient of the x squared is minus 10, is negative. So the curve must do something like this. That wasn't very symmetric, was it? Something like that, just so we kind of get the idea. So this point here must be 20. This point here must be 1. And then the um, y coordinate of the vertex is 20 plus 20, so 40. Take away 10, so 30. This point over here must be 1 minus root 3. And this point must be 1 plus root 3. And that is the shape of the fourth parabola.